Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. So, I wanted to kind of like, I'm going to shoot a video which will probably be very soon on rinseless washing versus traditional washing versus waterless washing. So, uh, I've shot random videos before. I've never really taken the time to uh, dissect them and speak about them individually. Uh, and compare them to each other, like the pros and cons. So uh, that's something I'm going to do. It's on my list of videos to make. Uh, in in the past, you know, several weeks, you know, month or so, uh, you know, I've been slam busy with with work, business. You know, my other businesses keep me going, but the product line has just been blowing up. Uh, and with the new expansion, uh, I've been working on. It's just not going to stop, and that is fantastic. It's what you want in business. So uh, while I haven't been shooting videos, I've been writing, making a list of videos I want to shoot. This particular video, um, I, get, I get asked all the time. People are so concerned about wasting a few cents uh, of product. They're, they're so fixated on, they, they think that the product that they buy is going to make or break how much money they make it's not you have to you have to work your pricing out where the products that you like to use the ones you want to use uh, whether they be mine or somebody else fit into the deal and if you do your cost versus profit analysis uh, I always tell you uh, that I like to keep my cost that I, what I spend on product per the job inside 10% of the total job. So for example, just for you people who just refuse to do simple math, which is a lot of you, um, if you if you want $100 for a job, it shouldn't cost you more than $10 to make it happen. That should include all of your product, your gas, your fuel for the, you know, your, your fuel to get there, wear and tear, all that. Um, now, that doesn't always work. It, it, it won't always work, but that's a general guideline that I go go to all the time. I mean, for example, if you were to spend $25 doing a job for $100, that's 75% on your investment is, well, I shouldn't say on your investment, 75% of the total job, you know, putting it in your pocket is a pretty good deal. Um, but 10% is a number I like to throw around a lot, but... Um, People specifically ask me about rinseless washing. They're concerned about the pre-soak. Do I have to do a pre-soak? So the answer, without going crazy with this time uh, in this video, is no, you never have to do a pre-soak with a rinseless. The benefit to doing a pre-soak is to break up the dirt and grime that's on the surface and depending on the technology built into the product, could the product could encapsulate and lift it off the surface so that when you do use that sweeping motion of your hand to move the dirt from the surface onto the towel, you have less chance or you're less likely to rub that grit into the paint if it's surrounded by a polymer or their liquid carnauba or whatever they call it. Um, so the answer is no, you don't have to do a rinseless. Uh, when you look at the videos for the Gary Dean wash method, and I've got a do a 2017 version I haven't yet uh, every year since 2012 when I put it out there um, I've done an update and you really it literally is the best way to ensure that you're not going to put in any more scratches than you have to while using a rinseless wash it's the best way to do it multiple tiles in the bucket with the pre-soak um, it is by far the best way to do a rinseless wash. Um, all I did was add some spokes to the wheel. I didn't invent anything. I just put a series of events in order and called them mine uh, for the Gary Dean wash method. But uh, that is exactly what I recommend you do if you're a rinseless detailer. Now, I am all kinds of rinseless. I am the rinseless fanatic, period. That's my go-to way in my pro detailing business to wash a car. I also do a lot of traditional washing with the Eco Rinse Machine. Um, but anyway, you don't have to pre-soak. It does aid in 
uh, installing fewer scratches for sure because it breaks down the dirt before you go rubbing on it, period. Um, here's the reality. You're going to spend more money on product if you do that pre-soak. However, you'll put fewer swirls in the, in the paint. Um, now, you have to understand that the pre-soak is not going to do all the work. You still have to make sure your technique is good and proper so that you uh, are not putting in more than you have to. And we all know swirls are a part of life. They're going to happen. You know, there are swirl Nazis out there. I'm not one of them. I don't really care. Is it, do I do everything I can to prevent as many swirls as possible? Absolutely. But I'm not going to go overboard with it, and I, I'm not going to let it run my life. Uh, some people do allow it to run their life, and it gets it gets tough out there for sure. I'm not that guy. Um, and so I just want you guys to know the pre-soak is better. Every time, all day, it is better to do the pre-soak than, pre than to not do the pre-soak, but you don't have to. Most customers wouldn't notice a swirl mark, whether it was there or wasn't there. It doesn't matter. Most customers will never know whether or not you put more scratches in their car or you didn't. That's the bottom line. Um, I have done a rinseless successfully for years and years and years without a pre-soak. Uh, I currently do the pre-soak because I want to ensure that I give my customer what they're paying for. And that is for me to treat their vehicle like it was my own. So every customer gets a pre-soak um, if I'm doing it. So that's kind of where we're at. But if you don't want to, if you feel like you want to save the time, save the cost, I mean, who's to say that you shouldn't? I mean, that's a decision you can make on your own. And the bottom line is, if your customer's happy when you're done, whether you pre-soaked or not, that's what matters. Your customer being happy is number one, period. So that's it. Pre-soak if you want. It's better to pre-soak than to not pre-soak. 813-846-4406 is my cell. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, it is a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and everything else in Gary Dean land. So if you want to be a part of that, something bigger than detailing, send us a request, we'll get you in there. Read the rules, please. We have a drama-free situation, and I love it. It is amazing. Uh, we will not tolerate any drama. So um, it's a very good group of people, uh, and we all share information. Uh, so it's a good place to learn tips and tricks and that kind of thing, uh, not only for my products, but it just in general. So uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. If you need me, I can't help if you don't call or text or leave me a voicemail, 813-846-4406. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day.